Okay. No, it's all uh, taken care of. It's coming right up. There you go. Enjoy. Oh. See, it's not just bridges you like burning. Not sure whether to eat it or scatter it. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> oh, don't apologise. I'd love to have a boyfriend bring me breakfast. It's the thought that counts. Well, it's the least I could do in the circumstances. Too right. I'll give it a rest. Look, I've said I'm sorry, OK? More does Lloyd want. Flipping full page out in the paper or the red arrows writing it in the sky. He wants to feel like you mean it. Jace, I regret what happened, OK? More and more with every day that passes. Right, I'm going to work. Yeah, I best get off as well. Jace will come round. He doesn't think you're a racist. He's just a bit disappointed in you. And so am I. Lloyd's been a good friend of mine, and I hate this. I know you do, love. No, I promise. No more aggro, OK? Whatever he says, I will rise above it. I hope so. For the sake of my frying pan, if nothing else. <laughs> Are you still struggling? These instructions are a joke. I'm telling you, somewhere there's a block trying to build a nuclear reactor with a diagram for a flaming changing table. Oh, you'll get there in the end. Just hope Jake will still fit in it when he's five. Uh, excuse me, I've been doing this since half six. We should have slept when you could. Who knows when you'll next get a decent night's kit. Well, I want it to be ready for him, you know, for this afternoon. Fat chance of that now. Oof, you a builder. Don't tell your dad. <laughs> oh, don't worry. He was never any good at flat pack. Only thing bluer than his language was his thumbs. I don't suppose the adaptations make it any easier. Yeah, I'll be adapting this into firewood in a minute. You know, I feel like I've let Jake down before I've even started. Oh, don't be daft. You're going to make a brilliant dad. I hope so. Do you think we're going to be all right? Like, really? I think we're going to have to be. Just wish he came with a full set of these. Right, there we go. Two teas. Cheers. What? Where's mine? Oh, you never asked me one. You never said you were getting anything. I wasn't, but I happened to see it and I fancied it. Really? More than you've said about me lately. Mm -hmm. Start that again. I've got enough on my plate as it is. So I see. Ooh, that looks nice. Mm -hmm. Um, what can I get you, bit? Oh, just a coffee to go. I'm too nervous to eat. I've got an interview later. Receptionist job at a hotel in town. Coffee to go, please, Anna. Oh, right. Oh, it is a really nice hotel, though. Like, really posh, got a spa and everything. Yeah, that's where I'd be working, on the front desk. Mm, sounds right up your alley. I suppose it's a step up from the corner shop. Ooh, let's not go overboard. All I'm saying is, with Janice's qualification, she's got a little bit more to offer than have a nice day. There you go. Oh, she needs lots of pull, especially after what happened with Paul. Well, and whose fault is that? I told you to ignore him. I'm not going to apologise for trying to protect my kid. Will you stop it, please? I am sick of hearing your rowing and I'm sick of hearing about Paul. I just wish this whole thing would just go away so we can all move on. Morning. Oh, hiya. Um, look, I, I, I heard about your illness. News travels fast. Who needs a gazette when you've got Beth Tinker, eh? <laughs> oh, no, it was Norris that told me, actually. He, he wasn't gossiping. He seemed dead shaken. We all are, love. Well, we're all right. We're coping. Where is Roy? Oh, he went to the cash and carry. It was a bit of a relief, to be honest. He's been neither used nor him at this morning. Right. Um, would you mind keeping an eye on him for us while I'm at the factory? Yeah, of course I will, love. <laughs> Look, you know, if there's anything at all that I can do... I, I know. Thank you. I'll, I'll see you later. See you later. Oh, are you still OK to pick Max up from the shop? Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Well, there's nothing you can do about it now, so just calm down. Have you read this? What's happened? Oh, the restaurant's had some dodgy reviews on the internet. Dodgy doesn't even cover it. Below average food at above average prices. One to avoid. The only thing colder than my meal was the service. I can only assume the awful background music was intended to hide the ping, the ping of the microwave. Well, at least they got the sense of humour. Uh, I'm not laughing. Did they leave the names? What are you going to do? Go around and chin them? Uh, they're all anonymous. The food was absolutely unforgettable. I saw it again several times at night. Look, all restaurants have bad reviews from time to These time. These are poisonous. And all in the last fortnight. Well, we didn't have any complaints. Not that I can remember. Of course we didn't. They're not from genuine diners. What do you mean? What's the hate campaign? 
That on top of the spirit watering, it's no coincidence. Well, maybe... Oh, it's got to be a member of staff. I'm going to call a meeting, read the right act. Uh, no, you're not. You can't go chucking accusations about. So what? I sit here and wait for the next attack? No, but we need to deal with this sensitively. Keep people on side. Right, I'll go and have a word with the kitchen staff. You ring the waiting team, all right? I'll do in the office. Yeah, don't tip so round them, bro. You've got to lay down the law. Yeah, I think he knows what he's doing. See you later. Bye. Oh, she didn't look herself this morning, but she's still gone to work, mind. She wants to keep herself busy. Still, it's better than sitting there stewing, I suppose. Exactly. Anyway, I think you'd be at the hospital by now. No, we're not picking up till later on. I tried to get an earlier time. I rang up. There was no doing. Oh, well, I shouldn't be in too much of a rush, love. You know, these next few weeks, you'll have more than enough time with him. Most nights. It's like being nocturnal, but without the sleeping in the day bit. <laughs> nah, bring it on, I see. Oh, I can him. You won't be so cocky this time next week. You'll be begging for mercy. <laughs> oh, we're under no illusion. We know it'll be hard, but we can't wait. Oh, I know. We're only teasing you, love. You know, if you need any help, we'll be around there like a shot. I'm a dab I'm with the nappies. I'm not sure Tina's going to be seeing him again. Oh, you don't need to worry about her, love. Um, her and Tommy, they've gone away on holiday for the week. Oh, she didn't say. No, I, I've only just heard about it. I think it was pretty last minute, but you'll have plenty of time to settle Jake before you face her. Oh, yeah, still, it doesn't solve things long term, though, does it? Oh, will you stop mithering and be grateful? You know, after everything you've been through, you're bringing your child home today. Nothing else matters. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Yeah, come round whenever you want. I've got nothing to hide. Yeah, you do that. Just um, text me back when you find a slot, all right? Cheers, bye. Business? Nope, and certainly not pleasure. I think it's my probation officer. She wants to pay a visit. Oh. Is that a problem? Well, not really, because as soon as she sees that we're setting up a legit business, it'll get her off my back, won't it? Oh, look who it is, the happy couple. Not for long. Peter will be bored before the first dance. <laughs> All right. I hear congratulations are in order. That's right. He's making honest woman of me. Oh, that's a rockin' half, that is, sis. I need to put my shades on. Pushing the boat out a bit, aren't you, mate? Or was it Carla doing the shoving? Peter bought it. What, with your money? <laughs> Am I right? We bought it between us, Rob. Yeah, I bet you did. You bought the box, she bought the ring. <laughs> Does it matter who bought what? What says is mine and vice versa? Yeah, well, I know who's getting the better end of that deal. Do you know what, mate? I'll take me hat off to you. Life of Riley and you don't even have to lift a finger, do you? If you must know, Peter's working at the factory now with partners. <laughs> oh, well, this just gets better and better, innit? Hey, we're opening up at the right time. There'll be plenty of skint people around here. Once he's worked his magic at Underworld, we'll be raking it in. Yeah, well, I hope you do, Rob. But just remember... Out in the real world, we're dealing cash, not phone cards and snout. Oh, chill out, Pedro. I was only kidding. Well, she won't let you near anything important. You'll have about as much clout as a left hook from Emily Bishop. Peter, enjoy making the tea. Just ignore him, Lloyd, please. You won't get any trouble from me. I will be on my best behaviour across me out. You better be. Morning. Good morning. Smashing day. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> you all right, mate? Not so bad. Thank you. That's hardly truth and reconciliation, but it's a start. See, that wasn't too hard. Not for me. Look to be killing him, man. <laughs> Hello? You all right, boss? What's up? Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, fine, OK. Yeah, bye. What's up? It's my gaffer. He wants to come round for a chat. What's the house? Yeah, I didn't say why. Be about a hoax callers. Maybe the mum wants to withdraw the complaint. Maybe, but then he could have told me that over the phone. Why insist on a meeting face to face? Mm. Walked out? But this sound, there's no way they'd have done anything. I never said they had. You were shouting the odds, I could hear you in here. What's going on? What's happened? Nothing. Millie and Shane have packed their jobs in. What? Oh, Nick, I told you we had to deal with this sensitively. What did you say? I simply put the facts to them. It's not my fault they're thin-skinned. Oh, you know, I knew I shouldn't let you make them calls. I knew you were spoiling for a fight. I was no such thing. No? You might as well have worn gloves and a flaming gum shield. Oh, come on. I just sent a warning shot across the bows. Across the bows, yeah. Not in the back of the flaming heads. This is the last thing we needed. I'm sorry to invite myself round. Uh, no worries. Sit down. Do you want a drink? No, I'm all right, Tar. I didn't want to do this at the station. It's uh, a bit of a sensitive issue. I understand, and I did overreact, OK, boss, but you know what hoax calls are like. They drive you... No, the no, that's not why I'm here. There was a note on my desk this morning. We've had a call about you. 
Go on. I'm sorry, there's no easy way to say this. There's been an allegation of racism made against you. Ah. Uh, Obviously, we have to take something of this nature very seriously. I don't believe it. I don't flipping believe it. It's going after me job now and all. So you know who or what this accusation relates to? It relates to nothing, boss. It's one man who's got a grudge against me who wants to ruin my career. I haven't got a racist bone in my body, all right? Listen, mate. I'm not here as your manager. I'm here as a friend. I wanted to tell you personally. Listen, it was something and nothing, OK? A stupid misunderstanding in the pub. I can put it to bed right here, right now. It's not quite that simple, I'm afraid. It's a formal complaint. I'll have no choice but to follow it up officially. I'm sorry. I hate it when it's quiet. Quiet is good. Especially after the last few weeks. Quiet is very good. Do you think I should have a biscuit? I don't need to ask my permission. Stop that hungry, that's all. Well, don't have one, then. Well, I've got a brewery. What? So you can't have a brew without a biscuit? Well, I can when I know we haven't got any. Well, then pretend we haven't got any. Well, no, we've got some. I can see you in there. I can't de-imagine packets of penguins, can I? Well, shouldn't that be unimagined or neither? You know what I mean? I can hear them calling to me. Really? Is it just biscuits that talk to you? Do you mind? I'm trying to be good here. Sorry. Come on, then. Think of something else. <sighs> How's Paul? Well, him and Lloyd actually said hello to each other today. That's good. You know what they say about little acorns. Mm, pass his brains in their case. Still, hopefully, they've made the peace. You know what you need, don't you? Go on, then. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it happened. It was a stupid, careless thing to say, but I never meant it like that, and I never, ever would. I'm not a racist. I never said you were. I know you get on well with all your colleagues, regardless of race. They don't know about race, do they? I don't know. Dave took the call. Dave? Great. So they'll all know. Probably talking about it right now. Even if they were, they know you the way I do. Look, I've got to go. Thanks for giving me that bit of background. It's useful. So what happens now? Like I said, I'm duty-bound to investigate it. Depending what that turns up, there may be disciplinary proceedings. There may not. Just try not to worry about it. You'll get a fair hearing. I promise you. Will I? Because I know what it sounds like and what it looks like written down. It won't be the truth. It really won't. I thought for a split second it was going to kick off, but I was dead proud of my dad. Right? And fair play to Paul. He may be an idiot, but he made the first move. Jenna, he said hello. That doesn't exactly excuse what he's done. Oh, yeah, but we're putting all that behind us now. Are you OK? You dead quiet all morning. No. No, I've done something really stupid. Yeah? <sighs> On Friday, I rang the fire brigade and reported Paul for racism. What? No, because, right, no, you said that no matter what your dad did, that Paul would always get away with it, so I just figured that this way he didn't, and I thought you'd be pleased. Please? The whole nightmare was finally coming to no, an end. Jenna, I'm just trying to help. Oh, believe me, I can do without help like that. The whole thing is going to blow up again now of all the stupid, ridiculous things to do. No, please don't be angry. I am way past angry. Jenna, please, where are you? Where are you going? Are we out? It's a bit windy. Do you think he needs another blanket? It's a warm breeze. He's got a vest and a sleep suit on under here. I'm sure he'll be fine. Right, well, I tell you, this cabbie's not doing over 20 on the way back. Oh, you're going to be bopping. Hey, I don't care how big the tail back is. This little fella comes first from now on. Cheers, mate. Don't you mean joint first? Well, you know what I mean. Right, come on then. There we go. They don't take priority. It'll be a rum do, as my dad would say. You don't think it looks like him, do you? Well, it's hard to tell without the beard, innit? <laughs> you know, my dad used to say that old babies look like Winston Churchill. I think he just heard you. I don't know. What's wrong with him? Oh, nothing. He's just walking up in the big wide world. So he's a bit of reassurance, that's all. Oh, come on. 
Hey, come on, little fella. You going home now? Oh, we've got your room ready for you. Oh, no, come on, look, it's me, your dad, remember? We had a chat last week about Carlos Tevez. Tevez? What am I doing wrong? Nothing, he just needs to get used to it. Don't you, hey? What's all that racket? Everything's fine, eh? Oh, Sean, where do you keep the sugar? Oh, blue canister. Well, it says tea on it. Yeah, that's right. Oh, so where, where do you keep your tea bags? Red and white stripes. Hang on, that says biscuits. So where do you keep your biscuits? In your teapot? No, because that'd be silly. Listen, Mr B, this is a system which has been handed down from the ancients. I am not going to start quibbling with the long dead. Sorry, I was just... Um... Yeah, well, I thought you might be a bit more sensitive than that, Sean. It was only a slip of the tongue. Oh, right, I get it. That's naughty, is that? Well, if I can't be naughty now, when can I? You just wait till you're better. <laughs> I think you handled that really well. Because you must get sick of people walking on eggshells, don't you? Oh, well, I know they mean well. It must be awkward for them. Hey, milk it. You never have to make another brew again. Oh, I don't know. There is such a thing as compassion fatigue. At least I hope there is. <laughs> hey, I've been thinking, why don't we get Steve to put our flyers in his taxis? <coughs> Like our clients are going to be swanning around in taxis. Uh, listen, when you are peeing little Billy's Nintendo up the wall, you're going to need a ride home at the end of the night. Would you mind? I'm, I'm trying to convince myself we're a public service. Helps me sleep at night. No boyfriend of mine sleeps at night. Yeah, not if they know what's good for them. Very good for them. <laughs> Don't you forget it. Not plenty of firms advertise in taxis. Yeah, what more fool them besides... Look, we've not even got a name for this place yet. Well, actually, I've been thinking about that. Mm. What about Barlow's Buys? Well, I, I thought we might use our imagination. Hey, it does exactly what it says on the tin. It says everything we need it yeah, to. Yeah, except Donovan. I'm, I'm meant to be a partner here. Yeah. Well, I know that, babe, but... Well, Barlow's Buys, it just kind of... It trips off the tongue. Yeah, well, so does Donovan's Deals. Actually, do you know what? I quite like that. Yeah, over my dead body. One <laughs> Barlow playing T-boy to a member of your family is more than enough. Thanks. As if I've made every brew this afternoon. Yeah, well, you're nearer to the kettle. <laughs> for raining on my parade, I just thought I'd return the favour. Oh, did you know? Bad news. <laughs> <laughs> Come here. <laughs> you are so going to regret that. <laughs> I don't think so. Not so fast. So, is it Barlow's buys or not? <laughs> you can call it what you're flaming around like. <laughs> Have you seen the faces in the kitchen? They could chop the atmosphere, never mind the veg. I did nothing wrong. Oh, you got worked up over nothing. Staff morale's important and you've ruined it. Cos one of them tried to ruin me. I'd send out a message. Do you know, there's no talking to you today. We're short on fivers. Did you put the float back in the safe? The float? Yeah, you were counting it this morning, you know, before permanently alienating the workforce. Uh, it was on the bar. I don't remember. I thought you had it. I didn't have it. Don't look at me. Oh, I don't believe it. Oh, right, don't panic. Just go and check the safe. Okay, if you insist. But we're both down wasting my time. So we did it. I think it was all worth it. Oh, it's the best thing I've ever done. Whoever he is, whoever he becomes, it'll be down to us. No pressure, then. <laughs> we won't let you down, I promise you. My little gingerbread man, aren't you? Hiya. Hiya. Come on, then. Where is he? Let's have a look at him. Oh, just look at his little face. Oh, he's... Oh, I almost feel broody. Oh, tell me, Dad, he'll faint. Where is he? He's in a traffic jam. He's gutted, but he'll be back as soon as he can. How long's he been asleep for? Uh, since his last feed. And they reckon this parenting life's difficult. Oh, really? Let's see if he's still saying that next week. Four days in, me and Ches were like zombies, but you just get through it. So have you fed him yet? Well, I, I tried, but uh, he was more settled with, is he doing it, so... Oh, I think he's waking up. <laughs> oh, he's gorgeous! <laughs> How could it be otherwise? <laughs> Ooh, I don't know. Have you seen his granddad, Edda? <laughs> Oh, he definitely knows you, though. Look at him. He can't take his eyes off you. Hello. Stick the kettle on. Mm -hmm. oh. 
Mm. Well, I can't believe you left it on the bar. You believe it or not, I've had a lot on my mind. Why should I be able to leave it on the bar of a closed restaurant? Oh, yeah, because some lunatic's on a mission to destroy me. Oh, just calm down. Any joy? No, nobody's seen it. No, of course they haven't. What's happened now? Oh, someone has gone missing, 50 quid out of the float or something. It hasn't gone missing, it was stolen. Probably by the same person who watered down the spirits and wrote those dodgy reviews. And now you just jump into conclusions. I don't know. Sounds like too much of a coincidence to me. Exactly. We haven't even looked for it properly yet. OK, it's not here and it's not in the office and I doubt whether it's going to turn up in a salad niçoise. You're calling the police. Oh, come on, seriously. Are we really going to involve the police for the sake of 50 quid? It's not about the money, it's about everything. If I don't stop this here and now, who knows where it'll end? I can't take much more of this. Is over. Will there be many peace talks? I can see it now. Flags either side of the dark ball. You and Paul walking into your own anthems. I haven't got an anthem. Have you not? Everybody needs an anthem. Or sure, send in the clowns. <laughs> That's not for me. It's obvious. Well, you said it, pal. Go on, then. What is your anthem? But I... Uh, to be honest, I always... No, Jace, I am not. Nobody so, you know, I was prepared to let things lie and move on, but he just won't let this go. Well, I'll give you that. Now he's having a good old chuckle at my expense. What are you talking about? He's brought this upon himself. Paul! Paul! 